Today, we're going to explore everything you need to know to master Photoshop, from setting up the software to learning the most advanced features. Whether you're just starting out or want to level up your skills, this guide will walk you through Photoshop step by step. So let's get started. First things first, downloading and installing Photoshop. Head over to Adobe's official website, where you can download the latest version of Photoshop. Make sure to check the system requirements before downloading, as running Photoshop smoothly depends on your computer's specifications. Once you've downloaded the installer, follow the on-screen instructions. When Photoshop is up and running, the first thing you'll notice is the workspace. This can be customized to fit your needs. So if you're a beginner, we suggest starting with the Essentials workspace. You can reset it at any time, which is great if you feel like you've changed too many settings and just want to go back to a simple layout. To make things more efficient right off the bat, try customizing your preferences. For example, adjusting your zoom and pan options can help you move around large projects more easily. Trust us, it saves a lot of time. Now that Photoshop is installed and your workspace is set up, let's get familiar with the interface. At the top of the screen, you'll see the menu bar, which contains all the essential functions such as file, edit, image, layer, and more. Below that, you'll find the toolbars on the left, which house the basic tools like move, selection, brush, and eraser. These tools are your bread and butter for any project. Over on the right side, you'll find the layers panel, one of the most important parts of Photoshop. Layers let you stack images and elements on top of each other, so you can work on different parts of an image without affecting the others. You'll also see the navigator and color panels here, but you can open and close any panels you like by going to the window menu. To start, open a new file by going to File, then New, or open an existing image. Once you're working on your canvas, try zooming in and out or panning across the image to get a feel for navigating your workspace. You can do this by holding down the spacebar while dragging with the mouse or using the zoom tool from the toolbar. Now that we've got a grip on the interface, let's dive into some basic editing tools. One of the first things you might want to do is crop or resize an image. The crop tool is located in the toolbar, and once selected, you can drag the corners to adjust the crop size. If you want to resize without cropping, go to Image, then Image Size, and input the desired dimensions. Next up, the selection tools. Whether you want to select a specific area of an image or isolate an object, you'll be using tools like the Lasso, Magic Wand, or Marquee. The Lasso tool is great for freehand selections, while the Magic Wand is useful for selecting areas with similar colors. If you're looking for precise control, the Marquee tool lets you select shapes like rectangles or ellipses. Once you've made your selections, you might want to adjust some basic image properties, such as brightness or contrast. Go to Image then Adjustments to find sliders for tweaking brightness, contrast, and saturation. And don't forget, Photoshop has a great undo system. If you ever make a mistake, you can easily go back to a previous version using Edit, then Undo or the History panel. Layers are one of Photoshop's most useful features, which allows you to separate different elements of your design. You can think of layers like sheets of glass stacked on top of each other. You can add, remove, or modify one layer without affecting the others. To create a new layer, go to Layer, then New, then Layer, or use the shortcut control plus Shift plus N. You can drag layers up or down in the Layers panel to change their order, and clicking the eye icon next to a layer will hide or show it. Photoshop also allows you to use layer masks and blending modes to merge elements in creative ways. Layer masks let you hide parts of a layer without deleting anything, which is great for non-destructive editing. Blending modes, on the other hand, help you create cool effects by controlling how one layer interacts with the layers below it. For example, the Multiply mode darkens an image by blending it with the colors underneath. Adding text layers is simple. Just select the text tool from the toolbar, click anywhere on your canvas, and start typing. Photoshop even offers various effects for text, like drop shadows or strokes, which can really make your text pop. Moving on to filters and effects, Photoshop comes loaded with a variety of artistic filters that can transform your images. 
To explore these, go to Filter, then Filter Gallery, and experiment with effects like Blur, Sharpen, and Distortion. For more control, use Smart Filters. These allow you to apply filters without making permanent changes to your image, so you can tweak or remove them later on. When applying effects like Drop Shadows or Strokes, go to Layer, then Layer Style to bring up more advanced customization options. These effects can really add depth to your designs, which makes them look polished and professional. Photoshop is a go-to tool for retouching images. For instance, you can use the Healing Brush and Clone Stamp tools to remove blemishes or unwanted objects from a photo. Simply select the Healing Brush, click on an area of the image you want to sample, and paint over the area you want to fix. If you're working on portraits, you'll find tools like the Spot Healing Brush incredibly useful for smoothing skin or removing minor imperfections. There's even a whitening option under the Adjustments menu that helps with brightening teeth in photos. Adjustment layers are key for fine-tuning your images. Instead of making permanent changes, adjustment layers let you modify the appearance of your image without altering the original. For example, you can use a Levels Adjustment layer to adjust the brightness and contrast, or a Hue or Saturation layer to tweak the colors. The best part is that you can always go back and adjust these layers later on. Color grading is another great tool for creating stylized images. This process involves adjusting the colors of your image to create a specific mood or tone. Whether you're working on photos or video thumbnails, color grading can give your work a professional, cinematic feel. Here are a few efficiency tips that will save you time as you continue to improve in Photoshop. First, learn the keyboard shortcuts for commonly used tools. This will significantly speed up your workflow. For instance, pressing B selects the brush tool and V switches to the move tool. Another time-saving trick is duplicating layers quickly. Just press Ctrl plus J with a layer selected and Photoshop will make a copy of it. This is particularly useful when you're working on complex compositions with many elements. Finally, organizing your workspace and files is key. Name your layers descriptively and use folders to group them together. This way, if you need to make changes later on, you can easily find the layer or group you're looking for. Okay, now we wanted to share a few bonus tips that can take your Photoshop skills to the next level. One great way to enhance your workflow is by using Photoshop plugins. There are countless plugins available, some for free, others for purchase, that can add extra functionality to Photoshop, from additional filters to more advanced retouching tools. You can also explore third-party brushes, which can give your artwork a unique look. There are tons of free Photoshop brushes available online, ranging from texture brushes to artistic brushes that mimic real-world materials like paint or charcoal. These resources can really add depth to your designs and are easy to install. Lastly, make use of Photoshop templates, especially if you're working on repetitive projects like social media posts or YouTube thumbnails. Templates can save you time by giving you a solid base to start from, and you can easily customize them to fit the specific needs of your project. Now let's talk about some advanced features in Photoshop. The pen tool is ideal for creating custom shapes and paths, which gives you precise control over your designs. This tool takes a little practice to master, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to create intricate shapes and outlines. For more complex selections, Photoshop offers the Select and Mask feature. This tool allows you to create precise selections by refining edges, which is especially useful for tricky areas like hair or fur. Content-Aware Fill is another great feature, which allows you to remove large objects from images without leaving a noticeable gap. Photoshop will automatically fill in the space based on the surrounding area. Lastly, Photoshop Actions lets you automate repetitive tasks. Once you've set up an action, you can apply the same series of steps to multiple images with just a click. Once you're happy with your work, you'll need to save and export your files. Photoshop allows you to save files in a variety of formats depending on how you plan to use them. If you're working on a project that you'll need to revisit or make changes to later, it's a good idea to save it as a Photoshop file on PSD. This will keep all of your layers intact which allows you to come back and tweak anything you need to. For web use or sharing on social media, you'll likely want to export your image as a JPEG 
or PNG. To export your work, go to File, then Export, then Export A's, and choose the file format that best suits your needs. When exporting for the web, you might want to reduce the file size to ensure fast load times without sacrificing quality. Photoshop gives you control over the quality and compression of your exports, so you can strike the right balance. If you're preparing an image for print, it's important to save it at a high resolution, typically 300 pixels per inch or PPI. You can also export as a TIFF or PDF, which are great for maintaining high quality in print. Oh, how did you like our class? Let us know in the comments what you learned and if you have any confusion. Stay tuned to our channel because advanced tutorials are coming soon.